Donovan State Prison's COVID-related uh, death toll is among the highest in state prisons. I News Source reports at least three men were found dead or dying from COVID in their cells during the deadly winter outbreak. And all this as the recently retired warden at Donovan State Prison is facing criticism over his pandemic-related decisions. Here to talk more about this, I News Source uh, editor Mary Plummer. Thanks so much for joining us here, Mary. Sure appreciate it. Hi, Eric. Good morning. So give us the backstory on this a little bit. Uh, what, what have we learned about this and uh, what have you learned in the investigation? Yes, yeah, so this is a um, you know, big news out of Donovan, which is the only state prison here in San Diego. Uh, Marcus Pollard had worked for the Corrections Department for 25 years. This is the warden who just retired. And as my colleague uh, Sophia Mejias Pasco reported, Pollard wrote in his resignation letter uh, that his tenure as warden was both extremely challenging and rewarding. Uh, during his time on the job, he did face heavy criticism for the prison's handling of the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, we have reported on that and been covering some of those issues. And he also came under fire for an employee discipline decision uh, that he made during the first month on his job. So his, his time in charge there certainly was not without uh, you know, some issues over the years that he was warden at Donovan. And what has the state prison system and now a former warden, Marcus Pollard, had to say about any of this? So we reached out to Pollard uh, several times for this story, and he did not respond to our request for comment. As for the state corrections department, it has defended its actions and the actions of Pollard. Uh, the department has acknowledged that staff failed to isolate some COVID positive individuals during the uh, during the pandemic. But at the same time, they have maintained that they, they did check on sick inmates uh, during a really bad outbreak there. Uh, this is all in the face of our reporting, which found that at least three inmates were found dead or dying in their cells during a massive COVID outbreak uh, that happened early in the pandemic. So we know he held the, the job of warden there for, for two years before his retirement. What else happened at Donovan during that time? Anything that uh, our audience should know about? So another um, big shift that happened at Donovan during that time was based on a court order back in 2020 that forced the prison to start using body-worn cameras. Uh, Donovan was the first prison in California to implement body cams, and as I mentioned, that change came through a court order. The decision was a reform effort to protect disabled inmates who said they were being denied accommodations and assaulted by staff. Uh, some of our reporting has raised you know, questions about how well these reforms were accepted by staff, uh, but certainly a really big shift in the California Corrections Department that started uh, right here at Donovan, kind of in our backyard. So where do things stand now at the prison? Uh, you mentioned some of the changes. Anything else that they've kind of reevaluated? So Donovan now has a new warden. Uh, his name is Raymond Madden. He was previously warden at Sentinel, uh, Sentinella State Prison in Imperial County. As of uh, this week, the prison is only reporting one active COVID case, so that's good news uh, for folks, folks, you know, working and incarcerated at the prison. But during the pandemic, there have been over a thousand infections and 18 deaths among inmates, so it's certainly taken a toll. Uh, in terms of vaccinations, COVID status about. About 85% of inmates are fully vaccinated. Uh, the staff numbers are a bit lower at 67%. And where can learn uh, people learn more about your investigations over there at iNews Source, Mary? We've been covering uh, Donovan, you know, during the pandemic uh, closely. Our website is inewsource.org. All right. Always appreciate uh, your investigations and thanks for updating us on this latest one, Mary.